hi guys welcome to this video today i'm going to show you how to create a new amazon kdp account that you can use to publish your book and also make money with amazon kdp book publishing business so i recent recently amazon started having issues i think they had disabled nigerians to register on the platform and um, probably they disabled a particular set of in the country in africa to stop using their platform to publish books but the good news here is that with this video you are going to learn how to create a new amazon kdp account that does not require you to put an otp so i wanted to just do something for me which is follow this video from the beginning to the end and also practice what you just watched because once you do it you are going to create a new amazon kdp account that does not require any otp so let's now go ahead and get started so the first thing you have to do now is come to our website browser i'm using a parameter for an example here now this vpn is not on anyways so in case you are seeing this thing is not on so it's just like i put it here but it's not i didn't turn it on so that the team will not have any issues on this at all but on your own may not be like this you can use any browser you can use opera mini you can use a google pro you can use firefox can use microsoft edge you can use a other browsers you, you want to use okay even your phone you can still use your phone and do the same thing i'm doing so open amazon.com so when you open amazon.com the next thing you need to do is click on register to create a new account not the amazon kdb account okay just create a new amazon account so that is going to be easy for you to create the amazon kdb account so now this is where we are the first thing we are going to do now if you are in nigeria it's going to be showing you deliver to nigeria it does not matter and if you are in another country it's going to show you your country um it's going to dictate your country automatically okay so this one is not is not a problem so the next thing we are going to do our focus here is to create a new account if we have if we hover your mouse here even on your phone if you do the go to the sign in option you're going to see sign in and start here click on sign or start here to open the registration page then the next thing you are going to do is put your real name i'm going to put my name here okay then put the email i want to use don't put a phone number put your email to put a halfway in 2023 at gmail.com then i'm going to put my password i want to put the one you can remember all right put the one you can remember then after that click on verify email please make sure that this email is working all right and click on save my password on my browser so i'm going to open my email on my phone all right I'm going to open my email on my phone so that i'll get the amazon kdp um, Amazon account uh, verification. So the thing have arrived in my mail. So I just open it now. Let me type the number. All right, type the number. The number is zero two eight six six six. Sorry, zero two eight six six six. That's the number here. Click on create your Amazon account. So that is it. I have created a new Amazon KDP, Amazon account. Now let's now head on to to create a new Amazon KDP account. So the next thing we are going to do, we click here. When you click here you go to your account just click go to your, go to your account okay go to your account settings all right sorry for that click here go to your account if you can you can decide you can set to go here okay or you scroll down there's a place that i have this account here i think so uh, they have that accounts anywhere below the footer page but anyway in case you didn't see it here just leave it and just simply come and click here from here you'll be able to see everything about your account this is your account settings all right from here you get both the key card uh, payment prime login security our focus here is to go to the login and security you can actually um, set up your profile here to match to what you have on the amazon kdp site right so here this is where you click it you add all these necessary information so that amazon will not be too quick to disable your account so if you have any issues in your account maybe tomorrow Maybe they deserve your KDP account. You can come to your main Amazon account and go to customer service and make a complaint, and they will probably resolve it or give you an alternative or solution to it. Then we have a lot of other things here. You know, just find your time, go through all of them. If anyone that suits you, just go and you know do your stuff the way you like. Then the next thing we are going to do: click here, login and security. This is what we are going to do. Now, I don't know the kind of authentication app you have in your mobile phone or anywhere. What we are going to do right now is we are going to turn on this two-step verification 
So make sure that you have your Google Authenticator app on your phone or Authy on your phone. I don't know the one you are currently using anyways. Click here to turn it on, right? Then this is what they're going to read. If you have time, you can read all these things. But for me, I already know how this thing works here. So I'm going to just click here, go here, guy, click on get started. So I click on get started, right? I'm going to see here. I don't want to use a phone number, right? I'm just going to use an authenticator app. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you two options. Now, if you use a mobile phone to be doing this, they're going to show you an option where you need to type a code, right? Where you need to type a code. Let me just click here. You can see that code here now. If you have a smartphone now, you're using a smartphone to register this thing. This thing is going to appear on the page because I'm using a laptop. That's why this thing is hidden. So if I click here, I need to type this code manually on my authenticator app. And how to do it on the authenticator app is very easy. Open your go go to Play Store. Okay, let me show you the app you're gonna download. Go to Play Store. Um, Play Store. Sorry. Play Store. Then Google Play. Then I'm show you the app you're going to download. You can download the same thing on your Amazon on your iOS. Go to iOS Store. Download on Google Play. Um, there's this application I'm going to show you here. This is a hit here. Got the ticket to app. They have the print of the ticket to app you can actually use. So look at what I'm using. I'm using the one for Google. So it's very easy for me to actually use. They have a lot of them anyways. They have OT. Like I said before, they have OT. They have this one. So OT is this one. I think so. OT, yeah. This is it. This is another. Um, Authenticator app you can actually try and use. It's very helpful. It's very easy to use. So, uh, the one I'm I currently recommended to use is this particular one, Google Authenticator. Download in your phone. It's used to do any other thing, save your security passcode, a lot of things there. Then you follow the prompt, and it's very easy to do. So let's now go ahead. Let me show you how to do it. Now, when you open your Google Authenticator app, right? What you need to just do is, you can either copy the code here. When you open your Google Authenticator app, it's going to show you where to click on plus sign. Right? When you click on the plus sign on your home screen on the Google Authenticator app, right, you're going to see scan code, scan QR code. Now this is a QR code here, right? This is a QR code here. You simply click on the scan. That's the it has the camera icon on your smartphone, right? Or you come here, you copy the code and enter the key. You enter the key manually. But for me here, I have my phone on my hand right now. So right in my hand now, I'm going to just click on scan QR code. Then I'll place it here. It's going to scan it automatically and give me the code to put on this particular place. Now I've scanned it. Let me not put the code. The code is 549624. Then I click on verify OTP and continue. That is it, guys. I'm almost I'm done. And then I'll click here don't require OTP for this browser always make sure that you put this in like this so that in case you are trying to log in again it's not going to ask you to provide an OTP again so we're going to click here click here got it turn on two-step verification that is it if you want to add a new app again maybe another application and that your phone you can click here so that it's going to be easy for you if you want to disable this disable it. don't disable it because we are going to be needing it for do, to do something else so the next thing which we are going to do right now is to create our KDP account that does not require you to have provide an OTP. So you can do that thing by simply going to Amazon.com, scrolling down. There are two ways to do that to find that link. Scrolling down here, you're going to see KDP, KDP Publishing here. Okay, click on it. It's going to open. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do here, you can easily join or sign in. Now, there are two ways I'm going to do this thing now. Okay, I'm going to sign in with that same email I have. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on sign in. I'm not going to create a new account again. I'll just click on sign in or I'll just simply click on join KDP. Now, there's two options for you here. If you click on sign in, that means Amazon will now combine your account together, put the one you have on your Amazon.com website and the KDP because it has different database. It has different database okay these are two, two different websites on it only have two different database so amazon is going to try to combine your data together if you click on join kdp right you are going to actually create a new account so 
whichever way you want to try it you can try it and go with it i'm going to click on join or click on sign i don't even know the one i'm going to click on first of all to actually start using it so let me try and use and sign it let's see how it works and when i click here you're going to see this update this january this year 2023 please make sure you read this thing majority of you guys will not read the terms and condition and when they ban your account you start print you start talking about uh, your mentor the course you bought is not working this one is not working if you don't read terms and condition you are going to have issues with your account click here then click on agree then you can see it now i already logged into my account i don't need to come and create any account again because i have a direct amazon kdp account already amazon does come account so once i click on login i just log into the account you know it's nothing like creating an account again then look at what is going to happen here if i click on update because this is a new account you just click on create because once you create it i, th I think they are going to send you a mail they are going to send you a mail okay they just sent me a mail right now on my phone revision to your amazon kdp amazon.com account all right so that is it then you come here i've created an account too i can start creating my books like i said this one is very very safer that does not require you any other otp or probably tomorrow they will start asking you for verification and stuff like that so you can stick and go with this particular one now and you're going to go so click on update now they're going to ask you to put otp now once you click on it now the otp is going to be going to your that will authenticator app not your mobile phone again because of you have read, already authenticated your amazon account with this your phone authenticator so i'm going to put the code so that i will log in i'm going to put the code here the code is 521 sorry 492 then click on sign in that is it i've just entered my account like i said before amazon is going to combine your account together and this way they will not disable your account again i don't know but probably they will disable your account so if you don't flow uh you don't go through the process of your account and other things so i'm going to try to try and run some certain things here but what i'm going to do now here this is my account a new amazon kdp account click on individual of course i'm an individual i'll select nigeria here all right if I still want to select Nigeria, select Nigeria, what I'm going to do now is, um, okay, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to update this particular place now. There are different ways to update it so that it will not be very difficult for you to do collect payments and other things. So that's what we offer this video. Make sure you like and also implement what you learned from this video. And also, let me know whether you have issues or have any errors or problems creating your KDP account. Thank you so much.